And the Wall Street Journal reported on February 6th that Business Wire was selling direct access to news releases to high-speed trading firms. Such direct access isn't illegal. Well, our own Eamon Javers, of course, has been doing a boatload of work in this area for many months now. And actually, I'm kind of shocked by the whole thing. You know, you talk about a bottom of the food chain issue. Uh, you talk about the notion that we have prosecutorial discretion with regard to the Department of Justice. They look at certain things maybe different than others. I think there's also a regulatory discretion that seems to be going on. Uh, in my mind, and this is just my opinion, but just because something is not illegal and just because technology allows something to happen doesn't mean we should allow it to happen. I, I think in many ways this uh, high frequency trade, this putting your server right next to, you know, sources like Business Wire is kind of like the market's version of the NSA issues that the country's grappling with. Uh, very similar. But let me weigh in very simply. I know many high frequency traders and firms, not bad people, but boy, when you have that many quarters in a row lined up without losses, you really have to question yourself. Uh, I guess I was also amazed at how nice and sit down all of this happened. You know, regulators sitting down. Uh, the, the story talks about attorney general's office being involved. I don't know how it's going to turn out, but from where I sit, if you don't have losses, you don't have risk, and if you don't take risk, I don't think it's kosher. Now let's switch gears a bit. Let me write a number here, see if you guys and girls can decide what this is. And I'm, I'm just roughly doing what the last debt clock said. Three, six, nine, 12. Okay, three, six, nine, 12. So this is, of course, 17 trillion and change, 17 and a third trillion. That's what the debt clock is running at now. Quickly, the president uh, on a budget. The president will focus on pumping new cash into job training, early childhood education, other programs aimed at bolstering the middle class. Who could disagree with that? But as Einstein said, trying the same thing over and over. My school district where I live spends boatloads per pupil. But if you charted the output, it keeps going down. You know, we have this kind of debt. We need to try something new. Political perception is not reality. And I think maybe we should incentivize the private sector through things like apprentice programs and try something that may actually work versus just sound good and, of course, nobody could possibly disagree with.